Genau, das ist wirklich. Das ist ein altes Video. 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 Oops, should tell not linear. No, use the files to make a to encode, and then have to restart the system, and use an unlocker to stop the system thinking that the file is a system file, and let me delete it <laughs> because it slows my whole hard drive down from normal hard drive right at ninety meg per second, and then when this becomes system locked. Uh, but I only get 30 megaseconds out of it for writing speed, which is not very good news for anything really. So, I'm trying again, and this basically will just be one um, showing you how to make speeders this time, but it will just let me test that out at the same time as well. Right, so spheres are not complicated. We are basically making a system of over series of, a series of overlapping circles. Sorry, system block was in my head there. Series of overlapping system circles. Or overlapping systems, even. Right, so. Uh, see how it's sticking out here before it drops down. Up to here, you'll be making a circle at all. Up to here, pretending it starts there, with another circle. Up to here, up to here. Blah, blah, blah. But at the same time, you make this one, which is about four. I'm doing the free box, free block radius. This one's a free block radius, radius as well. Going this way, it'll be going the same thing. Up to here, a circle up to here, a circle up to here, blah blah blah, and same here. Up to here, up to here, up to here, blah blah blah. And when you do one free block one, you'll do the other free block one around here, and the one up here at the same time. So I'll show you what I mean basically. So from here, we said last time, 1.4 blocks for every block from corner to corner. So we'll come out this way, 1.4, 2.8, and that's where the closest you're going to get the free coming that way. Now, come in there and there, and you see that doesn't look too circular like that. So come in that one and that one. And remember last time, it's 3.2 from there to there. On a three block by one block thing, from corner to corner, 3.2 blocks. So that's 3.2 to there, so it's only a wee bit out. That was 2.8, should be a wee bit further out to there, but that's as close you need to get with one meter blocks. So you come over here, do the same there, and you come up here, do the same thing, same part needed down here. Right, next one is 5. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 comes out. And it's going to be at least that. Start off with that because they all start off at least the same size as the one behind it. Like that one comes out one block, so that's going to at least come out one block. You can't have this one come out like three blocks and that one come out two. That would always be the same height there as that one. That one's the same height there at least as that one. That one can be higher though. Let's use that in a minute. Right, so exactly we were at 2.8 there, 4.2, and the next one is 5.6. But remember, I said last time about if it's got half block difference, just pick one there, one there, on the side of it. Like that, so that's 4.2. So if it's only roughly half block difference, stick one there, one there. So we have over half block difference still one there one there. So those two are the points there. 
and the d d d d d d one two two. So this one two point two five. So that's from there to two point two five. And then that'd be four point five. So I said the half block difference. So stick one there and there. And you just copy it out there, just the point there. And just fill in the gaps. Like that. Let's get questions because this is a wee bit complicated, just let me know. So the same we've got over there. Two blocks up, and then three blocks up, and then another block then. that so copy the part in the middle there and then copy it here so one two three six, four four along yeah oops like that right so we just copied the same part and made there to there and there and you'll see why you're copying them at the same time rather than you know individually in a minute. Right, so it's going to at least come to there. So we'll go over there for 4.2. That's 5.6. But this is a 6 block time, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're at 5.6 there, and if I half block out, so again, get this idea really. And so one, two, three, like that, and then one, two, three. That gives you six point four there. So it's a wee bit large. So let's say put that next one there, put that one there, and see up here. So it's a three, a two, a three, a two. So one, two, three, and then two up. Oops. So one, two, three, then two. And then two like that. And that one, two, three like that. I was counting that one as the first one. <laughs> and we'll that part in here. Two, three. I've done this several times now, as you can see. Right, so next one would be a 7 block radius. Again, at least come out to there. So up to here, oops, sorry, here was 5.6, that makes 7. So that's exactly 7 to there. Remember, 1.4, 2.8, 4.2, 5.6, 7. So that's exactly what it's supposed to be. So you cannot have any there or there. And remember, it came out to there at 6.4. So it's only about half what the from 7. So if it was sitting there, that'd be 6.4 right there. So one, two, on either side yet. You can normally do it. And you wouldn't have any follow this way, and you can't have any up here. Just fill the difference. Now just match that here. So it was three, two, one, two, three. Now you start on this one, you just built on for the next one. Three, two, one, like that, and match that here. See the sheer points now because it gets so close together. Like that, so for two, like that, and one, like that, and then two, 
and now we've got to the point where there's no much point in trying to calculate circles, it's just three blocks to fill in basically. Like that. You could calculate it from right there and use that line there as a circle. And it would work out there as well. So all you're really doing is overlapping circles as you go on all three sides of this eight per sphere. And then to make the full sphere you just do that on a lot three times this way and then on the other side just flip vertically. And that to give you all eight sides of the sphere. And if you look at from here you can see it is vaguely spherical. And this one here where I covered it in water and the smoothed angles of the water makes it look a bit better for a dome shape. And up here as well. This is twice the size a 20 radius than using the same method. You can see it does look with the water on top makes it look a bit smoother but Either way, and this one is a 17 radius. Then is that the same method? Just circles of the inside is overlapped on all three sides of this eight pair circle or quarter of a dome. <laughs> so basically, just work with quarter domes to make your circle or sphere, sorry, and just the sphere is the same all the way around, so just copy the quarter sphere but eight times, just flipping it as necessary. Like here, I was an eight for sphere, and that's not an eight for sphere I just made. And you'll see you come to basic, you have spheres done with that, no problem. And if you can do it all by numbers like that, you're doing quite well. But like I said, I've provided numbers here for you. Some basic numbers. 3 by 1 block is 3.2 from corner to corner. 1 block is 1.4 from corner to corner. Again, this is rough numbers. It should be actually something like 3.2 something or other. 1.4 something or other. 2.23 is actually a number, but I've used 2.25, which is easier to remember. Did I get there? Because 2.25 is easier to remember. And 5 is actually an exact number. Well, there's a lot of numbers, combinations you can use, there's an infinite amount of them actually. But that's just some easy ones to remember. Or you can make your own circles, spheres, whatever. Thank you for watching. Any questions? That's what the comments are for.